Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Coming at you with another Legion premiere. I hope you are all having a fine weekend and uh, enjoying yourselves with your family. And I wanna bring to you another awesome collaboration with Finn Tisso. I reached out to them and asked them, look, I like your Odyssey. Let me, uh, let me do a review on it. And sure enough, the good people at Fintisso sent me the Fintisso Odyssey with the uh, black blade right there and G10 handles, man. Very nice. Make sure you go check out their website. They got like four or five different models of the Odyssey. One one as good as the other, man. So uh, really, really nice. Before we get started, what are you all carrying today at the secondary outpost along with this awesome folder that I'm carrying from Fintisso. I've got my F and Grow EF 148 in Aus 10 steel. And I'm going to be doing a review on this also, so you'll see that the day after. I uh, Unfortunately, my time here is, is short. I've got only about four hours here to do these, these reviews. Uh, can't do any kind of testing, unfortunately, but, you know, hopefully there'll be some more nice days and I could test as soon as possible. But for now, we're going to concentrate on this Fintisso Odyssey, okay? Let me go over the specs. All right, so right now we are looking at an overall length of 7.8 inch when it's open. Blade length, 3.3 inch blade steel. One of my favorite, 14C28N from Sweden. It's in a drop point mid saber configuration. Blade hardness is 60 to 62 HRC. Blade thickness is 0 0.47 inch. Blade width is 1.1 inch. Blade lock is a liner lock. Handle length is 4.5 inch, and it's also the closed length. Handle thickness is 0 0.12 inch. Handle material is a green G10. Weight is 3.66 ounce. Features a flipper, dual thumb studs, pocket clip, and a lanyard hole. Okay, good. Now that we got that out of the way, let's take a close look at this really awesome folder flipper. Now, I am a big fan of Fintisso. This is my third knife from these guys, and every one I get, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, okay? Check that out, man. Check out the nice blade. I love it. I love it. Definitely uh, good for outdoor use or any, any kind of use, hunting, fishing. That is just a classic, you know, drop point type blade. It is a, if you look carefully, mid saber. It is flat grind, not hollow. Um, there's a couple swedges here on, on each side. Okay, not too thick, but not too thin either. So if you need to do some point work with, I don't know, cardboard or anything like that, or even getting into some game, I, I think this knife will handle it, especially with the steel. Dual thun studs, some slight jimping here, sharpening choil, flipper that acts as a guard. And if you'll see, that is a nice, uh, well done, liner lock skeletonized on the inside with the uh with the liners okay stainless steel pocket clip but unfortunately not ambidextrous man i just kind of not understanding why these companies aren't taking the extra step to make it ambidextrous for people no matter though i have carried this knife the past couple of days since i've got it in the left and right pocket they work it works fine you know but, uh, you know, Fintisso, man, think about, you know, with the quality that you guys are serving up, everybody, you may want to think about adding ambidextrous, you know, pocket clip option for all your knives, man. I, and, you know, I, if it's going to take another $5, man, it might be worth it, you know. In any case, a beautiful knife, as you can see. Now, I don't know, I'm trying to get the sunlight, but if you can see carefully, it's skeletonized on the inside there. So, not bad. The liner lock is engaged. Okay, it's not 100%. I think it's 50%. Um, 
I know I can see it, but I'm trying to get that into the camera. In any case, it is looking good. The G10 scales are done beautifully. The fit and finish on this knife is phenomenally fantastic, man. I love the contouring of this handle, and I'm going to hold it for you and show you how the contouring is. It has a plastic spacer here, which is fine by me, or probably G10. There's the pocket clip right there. So it, it goes pretty, you know, deep into the pocket. There is some protrusion over here, but, you know, not bad. And again, the fit and finish of this knife is just fantastic man you can't go wrong okay it does also come with this nice box a carry case i'm going to show you all that in a minute or two but i definitely wanted to show you you know the knife first okay there's the blade really nice aggressive you know drop point blade right there man very nice very nice. Let's take a look at the other side. Very small logos. So hopefully, you know, those out there will be happy with the small logos here. And here's the other side of that handle. Again, fit and finish is nice. Everything is flush. Let me close it for you. I'll show you the detent at the same time. So close is nice. Flips open beautifully. Show you again. I know some of you, the detent does matter. It's a nice small little package in your pocket. Okay, if you don't like to use the flipper, you have dual thumb studs for left and right. Just really nice, man. There you go. And the flipper just boop. Flips open really well, really well. Now, while I have this out, before I show you the box and what's in it, let me take this piece of wood, you know, and so far, this is my third Fintisso, and so far, very sharp, out of the box. Okay. Let me get a little bit better angle here. So just a showing of how sharp this is out of the box, man. Look at that. Sharp as anything. So um, what's beautiful about this knife, too, is the handle. I love the contouring of the handle, okay? You know, as always, I think any pocket knife, any pocket knife with a pocket clip is going to give you some form of a hot spot but not too bad you can see the way i'm gripping it right now feels good just flipped it over feels good again if you're cutting up meat okay the grooving over here is perfect for the thumb positioning you know you can definitely get in there you get a good feel good grip of the knife um, in any configuration at least this way now let's turn this over in the reverse configuration there you go man it feels good, man. It feels really good. And if you got, again, if you're going to get into the meat and cut a couple different ways, holding this ergonomical handle seems to do the job. It seems to do the job. At least initial impressions, it, it fits pretty nice. So stay tuned for a hard use review. Well, you know, whatever I can do outdoors with this knife, you know, is what I consider hard use. Um, I'm going to do some slight batoning, but this time, instead of batoning with the lock and gauge, I'm going to do it like this, okay? And if I do have it, the, the baton, you know, if I'm going to baton with it, I'll baton it flat, very flat, just to start and then push down, utilizing the sharpness of the blade to split the wood in half to make some feather sticks. So we'll figure it out when the time comes now. Let me make sure that's in camera. Good, perfect. Again, once again, man, Fintisso, I mean, for the collectors, the boxes are phenomenal, okay? They're all different, but they do come, you know, 
with the, with boxes. This one has again the magnet. All right, you see the magnets over here, right here, right here. So endless exploration, endless sharp. Very good. And inside the box is a little manual. Uh, how to, you know, maintenance, taking care of of the knife, warranty information, their story, precautions. So there's something in that box that you all can read. Very nice. And it does come with a case. A lot of these knives are come with these cases. You have a Fintiso sticker. You have a Fintiso cloth. Clean up the blade. It did come up in this plastic. Okay, inside that plastic. And how nice is this, man? They have a couple of extra screws. You know, I think that's great. I think that this company is, you know, up and coming really decent. They're coming out with fixed blades that hopefully they'll send not only myself, but other content creators out there to test out. I mean, if they're, these folders are great. If they're fixed blades are, you know, are, are, are going to be hopefully just as good when they come out. But again, we got to test. So again, for the collector or the user who like to put their knives away, you've got a very nice box. Not only do you have a nice box, but you have a carrying case. All right, so fantastic setup over here, man. Fantastic setup, a fantastic looking folder. I'm gonna be carrying it for the next couple of days, testing it out. Hopefully I'll be out here soon enough to do a review. So stay tuned for that, troops. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. I'm going to put a lot more information down there. Go check out Fantiso's website. They got a great website, man. Uh, a lot of good info. So very good, very good, troops. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me bring awareness, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans in active military. Once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, okay, uh, check out the comment section check out the description section i'm going to leave phone numbers that you can call websites that you can surf all right if you know somebody you know show them this information or you know their loved ones this information and uh there's also a heartfelt message from martin miller one of your own vietnam veteran 66 to 69 he's been there he's done that and he has a heartfelt message please seek the help you all have earned and deserved. Troops, Legionnaires, new recruits, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. At the ready, hold the line, take care.